my god, look how many are in there. Oh my god, there's so many. How long do you think it will take for them to get legs? Good god, that thing is huge. Stand up, fight him. Oh god, you got a big one. You ready to rip some lips? You bet. What is up, MFers? Myself and my favorite little master of the dabs are up for a new experiment today. We're gonna use a bait today that I've always heard growing up today. It's like, it's freaking bass candy. They're the best thing you can possibly use, but somehow we've never actually used them and experimented with them. I think the biggest thing is you can't just go out and, and just find them in the wild and catch them. They're hard to freaking catch. They're slimy, they're fast. Well, guess what? We got Larry's Ponds. Last time we went to Larry's Ponds, we pulled up a trap and the some bitch was full of the bait that I'm talking about, and that is the Tad Pull. Of course, tadpoles don't occur all season long. They only occur this time of year in this part of the country anyways, because they are in fact baby bullfrogs. We're using big, meaty tadpoles for bait. We're going to see if bass, maybe even catfish, but I think bass is going to be what we're going after. We're going to flip some of those in there, see if the bass eat them as well as I've always heard growing up. And uh, hopefully we have a successful day, but step number one, max attack. We gotta go catch some. We got some traps out at Larry's right now. Let's head to Larry's, see if we got some tadpoles, and then we'll go to the lake, rip some lips. Let's do it. Ah, uh, we just got to Larry's farm. We had a trap out that we saw last time that had like hundreds of freaking tadpoles in it. That's what we're gonna be using for bait today. So let's let's go see if there's any in it. Larry said we can take as many as we freaking want. They were loaded. You gonna pull the trap? Yeah, where's the trap? Trap's right here on this rope. Pull, 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 pull. Oh my god, look how many are in there. <laughs> you bet. Everywhere in there, dude. Pull up. Pull all the way up. Let's get them out. <laughs> look at those things. Look how many there are, dude. They're so freaking fat, too. Which ones are tadpoles? Tadpoles are the ones that are big and fat and yeah. not minna. Let's get some water in our little guy there and then we'll dump them in. Have our little tadpole farm Max. God those things are so big. There's some shiners mixed in too. These dudes don't have any legs yet Max. They don't? No. I was oh. wondering if they'd be that far. I think that might be all the tadpoles. How long do you think it'll take them to get legs? I don't know. It won't be long, I don't think. Look how many of them there are, though. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at that guy. Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's going to be, like, amazing bait. Look how freaking fat those things are. Yeah, we're going to put one of those on a hook. Maybe blow, maybe blow a bobber or something. How long do you think it will take for them to get legs? It won't be too long. I don't know the whole life cycle. Maybe we should do some studying up. That's I'll look it up later. Though. Yeah, let's look it up, dude. Get Larry's trap put back out. Give him some more tan. Ready to go fish? Yep. Catch some bigs. She's looking good, Max. Looking good. Well, came out here to the Sanch factory. Thought that'd be a good place to kind of check it out. Plus, I wanted to, you know, dump all the, the, the little guys we don't use in this little pond afterwards for the big old sloncho sore bass to eat. It's not a lot, but something for him to eat anyways. Water's a little more stained this time. I don't think we're gonna be able to see any on beds. I was kind of wondering if we'd be able to flip some of these little dudes on beds and stuff, but I think the play is mostly gonna be just kind of cast it out. I think I'm gonna put a float because there's a lot of grass, a lot of scummy stuff on the bottom. We'll probably try some different methods though. For now, maybe start with a couple of floats with the tadpoles right underneath them. Be a good way for Max to catch them anyway, but Let's get rigged up and see if they work. How about this, Max? If this video gets 5,000 thumbs up, so let's go back to Larry's and we will catch as many tadpoles and bring them back here and freaking load the bass up with food. Deal? So you got a slip bobber on again, and that's good because we can adjust it. Got our little janky stop up here. It's kind of cold out here, huh? Yeah. We'll have to get you another coat on. And then uh, split shots, which maybe we should, let's, let's slide those down a little bit. And then this is actually a six inch drop shot hook, but this octopus style hook that we use for the drop shots actually makes a pretty good little live bait hook too. Oh man, a lot of our minnows already died, but look at this guy, Max. Do you want a big one or a big one? Big one. Okay, this is Timmy the Tadpole. Man, those things are weird. I think we're gonna go through the lips. 
Is he alive? Let's check his liveliness. Oh yeah, he's alive. We need him to wiggle. <whistles> Let's get him a little deeper. And then there's a grass line out here. I think putting him by the grass line is gonna be ideal. So you wanna fire him out a little ways. Okay. You probably don't need to go very far with him. Basically just right out there is where you want him. Not, not any more to the bank, but just right out here. Okay. Ooh, and he's gone. Cast it a little too hard and ripped it right through his lips, and now he's Gandhi. We're using bait. We gotta cast nice and light. Goodbye, Mr. Poltad. Good thing we got a lot of them, huh? Ah, bring it here. Look at this guy. He's freaking halfway to a damn frog. Good God, that thing's huge. Ooh, you got a lively one here, Max. I like this one. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Dad's gonna cast it. Bingo. And now we watch the Robert and we rip the lips when we get bit, right? Right. Okay. Get him, Max! Pull him, pull him! Max, attack! I've never been so proud. I'll leave you alone for a second and look at you over here. Did you get him? Yeah. Dude, yes! I bet he pulled your bobber under, huh? Uh huh? I was pulling it that way for the log just attacked. He came up and ate that little guy right by the log, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Our first culprit. Hooked him right in the bottom jaw, too. I was kind of worried that they would uh, eat him too deep and might kill him, but dude, strong work. Dab master strikes first. You want to throw him back? Oh, too bad. There you go. Put your thumb in there thumb deep as deep as you can to get past the little, little tooth patch you toss him no. there you go go deep he won't he won't get you oh. they don't got teeth it's just a little patch there you go there. grab tight there you go he'll get through there he goes dog give me some <laughs> that's what's up it's cold out here today but yeah. max tack don't care it's it is a little freezing it's like 48 and windy I don't know if it just decided it ain't gonna be freaking spring or what the deal is, but regardless, dab attack, dab attack, dab master takes no prisoners. That one, I mixed it up. I actually, uh, I hooked him in the tail because by the lips was, uh, was, was they were coming off the hook just immediately. So here you go, dog. Ah, I switched up to the spinning rod because baitcaster was just freaking flinging them off constantly, but I got the same rig old dab master does. We're going right here, little guy. I'm gonna flip it in this next to these trees and stuff, which should be perfect. Considering, I think a lot of these fish are in this area. Okay, yep, there's one. Okay, I wish that was on a spinning rod now. Ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. They're freaking all slow and lethargic. Definitely a cold front fish. Yeah, bud. All right, they work. They freaking work. The tadpoles, the tadpoles work. Look at this guy. Not a giant fish, but. I don't know, he's, he's trying to have a belly to him. Probably a 17 inch fish, he's kind of skinny. Little six cents drop shot hook. Get him back. There's beast in here, there's a damn 10 pounder. I wanna see if he'll eat one of these guys. That was that was pretty slick. All right, we need another tap, let's go get one. There goes my bobber, got another one. Oh God, big head, big head, big head. My full big. Definitely wish I had the casting rod now. Oh, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, oh, oh. Get in here. Get in here, bud. Look at this one, guys. This is an improvement. Oh, God, I fell down. I'm in the mud, Max. Look at that. Another big frame fish. Not a giant fish. Probably a three and a half pounder. Just small frame, 19 inch fish or so. Long guy. All right, well. If you guys wondering if tadpoles work, proof's in the pudding. I'm up on you, Max. Two to one. You got one, Max. Get him. Real. Is he on? Yes. Good work, dog. Better stand up, homie. Stand up, fight him. Oh, God. You got a big one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get him out of there for you. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Here you go, Max. This is your biggest one ever, dude. Fight him that way. To the left. Put your right to the left. He's trying to get in the trees now. Real. 
Real. You're doing good. Keep fighting him. Keep fighting him. That's a good one, man. Good one. Keep him coming this way. Now reel. Pull up and reel. <laughs> nice. I'll go get him for you. Okay. Bring him here. Perfect. Good work, man. Hooks right in the corner. You barely got him hooked. Nice work. You better get a picture with that one. Look at that. <laughs> Good fish, dude. This is definitely your biggest ever. Great fish, dude. You gonna let him go? Yeah. All right, let's, let's, uh, can you get down there? No. Why don't you get down to that spot right there? I'll help you. Dude, yes. Yes. Great fish, Max. That's the biggest fish of the day, bro. Boom. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> get you another tadpole on there? Dude, that was fast once you threw over there. Yeah. They eat them, huh? That was badass. That was Max's biggest bass of his damn life on a stupid little tadpole. I always talked about how effective these would be and just figured they would be effective. Growing up, I was told they were going to be good. And of course, there's so many baits on the market that are made to look like tadpoles, lizards, all sorts of other little amphibians, frogs, of course, the adult version of a tadpole. And I guess you can kind of see why. Freaking big, meaty, slow, dumb little creatures that uh, the bass really freaking like. We're going to give it a little bit longer. Hopefully, we can catch some more big ones and maybe even our biggest ever. There is a 10-pounder in this pond somewhere. How about this, Max? If this video gets 5,000 thumbs up, so let's go back to Larry's and we will catch as many tadpoles and bring them back here and freaking load the bass up with food. Deal? Deal. Oh, shoot, Max. I was watching your bobber. We got one over here. Is it another big one? Big one, small one, big one. It's a smaller one. Damn, these things are freaking effective though. Again, like we always talk about with these live bait versus artificial bait type videos, it always seems like you can fish an artificial bait so much more effectively than just sitting this next to a tree forever. You can flip that artificial bait somewhere, you know, like we tried with the lizards and everything. But they definitely catch fish, and they probably catch fish a lot of days where it's super, super tough to get bit on anything else. So kudos to you, little Mr. Tadpole guy. Well, bike kind of slowed, but that was a badass freaking time. Max caught his biggest bass ever. New PB, pretty awesome. Always good to get out and try new baits. I've always wanted to use freaking tadpoles as bait. And hey, guess what? It actually works. Got out here, caught a handful of fish. And of course, do not forget, drop a thumbs up because we want to go trap as many, or I want to go anyways. I want to trap as many of those tadpoles as possible, dump them in here. We just dumped all the excess ones and the minnows in there too. So half of those are probably freaking eaten by now but let us know what other baits you want to see us try next maybe you have a favorite bait for bass catfish whatever that is kind of off the wall and crazy and drop in the comments or send me a message but for myself for the dab master catch you soon Ready.